Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And today, we're giving you a much closer look at the upcoming Ghostbusters Fright Feature figures of Wave 2. And this wave is going to focus on the new characters from the upcoming long-awaited film, Ghostbusters Afterlife. As you're taking a look at right here, much like the first wave, we're going to get four figures, with each figure coming with a Fright Feature Ghost. Now, packaging is going to remain the same, because why fix what is not broken? And first up, we're going to be taking a look at Phoebe. Now, detail-wise, I love the face sculpt here. It does look like an animated rendition of McKenna Grace in the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. And I love that oversized, baggy Egon Spangler flight suit that she's wearing. You can see both the arm sleeves and the legs have been rolled up. She's got the Spangler name tag on her chest, as well as also the No Ghost logo on her right arm. And one thing I do want to point out is it looks like with this Wave 2 line of Fright Feature figures, the elbow pads will actually be painted gray which if you have checked out our review of Fright Features Wave 1, you'll know that is something that they omitted. Now when it comes to a ghost, Phoebe is going to come with Muncher. Yes, the new ghost from Ghostbusters Afterlife that seems to have an appetite for all things metal. And Muncher's Fright Feature is his mouth is going to open very, very wide, and you're going to find a big ball of scrap metal inside. Coming up next, we've got Finn Wolfhard himself, Trevor. Once again, packaging looks great, I love the art featured. And can I also just add, I do love the overall style of this line. I love the look of these figures. Very akin to like the old school real Ghostbusters toys, with obviously an updated theatrical twist. You can see he's rocking the flight suit there. There is no name tag, however, and much like Phoebe, his elbow pads are painted. His pack and ghost looks to be this small little bug-like green ghost, but almost looks like something out of like Men in Black to me. And its right feature is it will open up around its midsection, revealing a small blue ghost inside. After that, we've got Podcast, and I know you're excited about this one because check out that Packin Ghost. But let's first fixate on the main action figure because it's certainly worth your time. Now, for those that don't know, Podcast in Ghostbusters Afterlife will be played by newcomer Logan Kim. And much like the Phoebe character, you can tell that his flight suit is very, very baggy on him with the rolled up sleeves and the legs. But one thing I do want to note is the sculpt here is entirely different than Phoebe. So it is nice to see that Hasbro is going that extra mile when it comes to this figure line. Now, instead of a standard name tag, you'll see Podcast does feature a handwritten name tag that, of course, looks like it says Podcast. Ghostbusters logo on the right arm and elbow pads. Once again, they're painted. And I guess we might as well talk about it. Podcast Packing Ghost is the Bug Eye Ghost from Kenner's old school real Ghostbusters toy line. And this ghost, in my opinion, is the best Fright Feature ghost we've seen so far in this line. You can see old Bug Eye splits down right from the middle, revealing his green skull and it looks like an orange and purple second eye. Now coming up last here, we have got Lucky. In Ghostbusters Afterlife, Lucky will be played by Celeste O'Connor, and to me this is likely one of the best we've seen so far when it comes to a head sculpt, as in my opinion this looks just like Celeste. You can see her main torso is a totally unique body sculpt, and much like Trevor's action figure, she is also lacking the name tag detail on the chest. And she does feature the No Ghost logo on her right arm, as well as also the gray painted elbow pads. Now coming out of nowhere, we've got Lucky's Fright Feature Ghost, which is one part octopus, one part eyeballs, and pretty much all parts teeth. Don't try and do the math there. This one does look really, really cool. I love the design here. You can see its base style does look like an octopus with teeth. You hit the switch, then we see the actual inner yellow ghost inside, which looks to have five eyes, two eyes on the main face, and randomly three eyes up above. So that about does it for our early look today at these upcoming Ghostbusters Fright Feature figures. Be sure to keep it locked to GhostbustersNews.com and Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, as we'll soon be featuring pre-order links. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in the description, and I'll see everybody right back here next time. Yeah.